Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let's solve today the lead code question 542. 01 matrix. Basically, if that's the input matrix, we want to calculate the minimal distance from for each non-zero value inside the matrix from it to the nearest zero. Imagine if that's the input matrix. And we're considering this value at the moment. We can get to the, the minimal distance from this value to the zero it will be just one step. We can just simply go left, right, up, at least one step. That's why we keep this one as it is. However, in this case, for example, to get to the nearest zero would require us at least two steps. We can go like that, or like that, or like that or like that, that, blah, blah, blah. So at least two steps. That's why we updated to two. That's what we need to do. Let's do that. First of all, let's create a new matrix to store all our results. Let's call it distances. And this new matrix will have exactly the same dimensions as the input matrix. Elsa, let's calculate the maximum possible distance we can ever have. Just imagine the worst worst case, case ever. Imagine we are dealing with, I don't know. Um, okay, worst case ever would be, would look like that probably. So all the values are equal to one, except one value here. And imagine in a worst, worst case ever, we want to calculate the distance from this point to the nearest zero. In this case, it will require us one, two, three, four, at least four steps. So that's the worst case ever. Um, and the worst case ever is just simply matrix dot length minus one plus matrix zero oh, dot length minus one as well. So that's the worst case ever. All right, we're going to solve this uh, question dynamically. It means that we are going to solve the problem by splitting the problem into the sub problems. For this task, we are going to have two main steps. On the first step, step we are going to iterate through the, through the, through the matrix top to bottom, left to right. On the second step, we are going to iterate bottom to top, right to left. Let's do the first iteration first. So top to bottom first of all. Same for J. Okay. If you're going top to bottom, left to right, and if we see zero, we just see zero. We don't want to do anything with the zeros, so we just skip them. However, in case if we see one, we definitely want to do something with this one, right? So if matrix ij is not equal to zero, what we want to do in this case? Let's let's take uh, in this case. Let's consider only the upper cells and the left cells for now uh, from the current cell on which we are at the moment. Let's have the up cell and the left cell. Um, how to take? up cell. So up cell doesn't exist all the time, right? 
Um, for example, if you're starting here, there is no up cell and no left cell. So we want to check that. If i is greater than zero, in this case, we're going to take the up cell from the distances matrix. Oh, it's actually i minus one and j here. And if it doesn't exist, if it doesn't exist, in this case, you are going to use our maximum possible distance, which we just introduced in the beginning. That's why we need it. And the similar thing will be for the left cell. So if j is greater than zero, then we just take this cell, otherwise max possible distance. Okay, we took the up cell, we took the left cell. Let's do something with these two cells. Let's update the current value. Okay, we definitely want to take the minimum of these two. Okay, min of up cell and left cell. Plus one. Why plus one? Um, I don't know which example I don't know imagine if we have this input matrix and here we have zero not one right um, okay 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 let's make it nice okay um, imagine we are here right so the up cell is equal to one the left cell is equal to zero so the left cell is equal to zero at the moment and the up cell to one. So the mean function will give us zero, right? And if we want to get from here to here, we require at least one step. So we do plus one and we update it. It was our first main step and we went from top to bottom, left to right. Now let's go from bottom to top, to bottom to top, right to left. And let's now consider the remaining right cells and down cells. So i is equal to matrix length minus one, i greater or equal than zero, i minus minus. And similar thing for J. All right, again, same thing. If it's if it's a zero cell, skip it. Otherwise, let's take the remaining down cells and remaining right cells. The logic is the same. If you are out of borders and the down cell doesn't exist, in this case, in this case, yeah, we return maximum possible distance. Or if it exists, like if i is less than matrix dot length minus one. In this case, we definitely want to take it. It will be i plus one j. Otherwise, max possible distance. And similar thing for left, left right cell. So just I and J plus one. Okay, so let's think about it. We already left uh, top to bottom, left to right, and we already checked 
and updated uh, some of the values. And we considered the up cells and the left cells. And we took the minimum values. Now we want to do mass dot min. Um, first of all, we want to take the mass dot min of down cell and right cell plus one. But also now we want to consider the current value which we have there at the moment, because maybe the left cell will be the minimum value and the down cell or right cell is much greater than the left cell, which we already updated before. So we want to take the minimum minimum of from all of the directions. It was our second main step, so we updated everything again. And now basically the distance, the distances will have all the information about the minimum distances possible from, from non-zero values to the zero values. And in this case, in the end, we can just return our distances matrix. Let's run the code and see if it works. Hopefully it does. Okay, I see one typo straight away. And there is another one. Um, here, right? Okay, new. Perfect. Um, let's submit. That's what we got here. So it worked, everything is good. And it was the lead code question 542. Zero one matrix. Thank you for watching, guys. And remember, lead code today keeps unemployment away. So do lead code and follow this channel. Enjoy.